The Sonoma Wireworks Guitar Jack Model 2 uh, is a, an audio interface for the iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, iPod Touch, and iPad. Uh, it comes in this nice little box, uh, very well designed uh, packaging, and all that is in this box really is this unit. Um, it's everything you need to record on the iPhone 4 and iPod and iPad. Um, when you're recording guitars, microphones, things like that, or up to uh, two inputs at a time. Uh, this hardware unit itself is very well designed. It has a gunmetal kind of polished finish, uh, which is very fingerprint prone. Uh, you might be able to see some of those fingerprints on here. Uh, but it's the same kind of finish as on the back of an iPod Touch, so it's nothing bad. Um, uh, you can see the sides here and the back. Um, the, f the screws are all flush. They feel like they're going to stay in there. It has little rubber feet for when you have it set on the, set on the table like this. Um, the only design part of this that I think might be a little troublesome is the fact that the dock connector right here is the only connection between the guitar jack and your iOS device. Um, I'll show you, it's really easy to plug it in, but that also means that it's very easy to unplug it too. Um, I think sometimes when I'm using this I'll probably want to put a little blue tape here and on the back side uh, just to make sure that uh, it doesn't come unplugged while I'm recording. Uh, other than that though, this hardware is great. Um, all these, all these cable connections are very solid, they're all metal, um, and I don't think that they're going to fall apart after a few years' use. On the left side here, uh, this is the top of the unit, on the left side of it, uh, there's a microphone input, but it's also, uh, it, it does mic or line level. Uh, you can adjust the uh, level of it in the software and 4-track and other programs. And um, it also accepts either mono or stereo input, so you can plug a mixer into it, you can plug a handheld microphone into it, um, you can plug any kind of microphone basically that there is into it as long as you have a cable that adapts it down to a, uh, an, an eighth inch uh, plug here. On the other side you have a quarter inch uh, guitar jack which um, that's the namesake of this model so this is kind of the bread and butter. It's really solid connection. Um, I haven't found a cable that feels funky getting in, into it and um, you can set either high Z or low Z and the, the amount of padding you want to use uh, with your guitar or amp or whatever you're plugging into it in the software. Additionally, there's a headphone jack so you can either monitor your recording or you can play it back and that's stereo. Um, and the hardware unit itself is really simple, no switches, no knobs, nothing that's really breakable on it except for this dock connector. And as I said, it's really easy to get into your iPhone. Um, so, I'll show you a little bit of the software for it. Um, I'm going to go into the 4-Track app here, and in here, down at the bottom, there's some settings. They call it Song Tools. And when you go in there and you have the guitar jack plugged in, you can see a little yellow light there. Then I can set the settings for it. So right now it's on both inputs. I'm using the uh, 1 8 inch jack and the quarter inch jack, and you can set the settings for each input independently in the level. Um, or you can just use the 8 inch input. You can either use it in mono, uh, left and right independent level control or stereo mode and you can set the level on there and then you can also pad it or boost it and one nice thing about this hardware is even if I'm boosted and uh, I put the gain all the way up it still sounds very crisp and clear uh, with very little noise. Um, the quarter inch input you can set low Z pad, low Z or high Z and you can ag again adjust the gain right there. Uh, so I'll go over to the 1 8 inch input since that's what I'll be demoing right now. I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to give you some sound clips from different, uh, you know, a guitar and some of different microphones I have. Uh, but in this here, I'm just going to use the mono mode and I'll set the gain up um, and put it on boost. I have here the Shure PG48. It's a really cheap XLR microphone. You can see the connection here. And then I have a really cheap cable I got on Amazon for about five or ten bucks. Um, and this plug goes from XLR to an eighth inch jack. And I wrote on the side of it what the connections are. Uh, one is ground, two is tip, and three is ring. You can see these connections here go to the proper ones on here. And basically, uh, you know, using this cheap little cable that doesn't do any level adjustment, I plug that into the microphone input. And if you can see on here, uh, the, the sound level is pretty good. Uh, I'm, I have the microphone about an inch below my mouth and uh, I'm getting up to minus 12, minus 9 with normal talking. Um, and you can again adjust the gain here and adjust the padding 
So if you have a line level source, you might want to pad it and bring the gain down a little bit. Anyhow, um, the unit also works with some other software. Uh, let me go back in. I need to adjust the level first. Uh, it works with other software as well. Um, one app that I use quite a bit is Fire, which is a field audio recorder. Um, and uh, as you can see, I just did a recording earlier uh, using this software, and the, the sound level is very nice. Um, you can see there's very little noise, and uh, I think it sounds great. One, uh, one thing that I haven't gotten working yet with the, uh, the guitar jack is apps like FilmMic Pro or the built-in camera app. Um, if I use one of those apps, sometimes I'll get a level, sometimes I won't, sometimes it'll switch to the internal microphone. I'm not exactly sure why, and one time it even, it recorded fine, but it was kind of garbled. It sounded like there was digital distortion. So I'm wondering if a firmware update might fix that, at least in the camera app. Um, anyhow, this is, it's a great piece of hardware that works great with the iPhone, um, iPad, and iPod Touch. And um, I'm going to I'm going to now play back some recordings I've made with it with a guitar uh, with this microphone with my lavalier microphone and, and uh, you can be the judge of how how well it fits into your recording uh, style. This is a test recording on a Shure PG48 microphone uh, using the Sonoma Wireworks guitar jack. I have it plugged into the microphone input uh, in mono mode right now uh, using a really, really simple XLR to 1 8 inch adapter. Uh, this, this guitar jack is a great uh, tool for recording guitars, but it's, in my opinion, even better for uh, stereo or mono miking. Um, I can plug in lavaliers and XLR mics and all kinds of different things, and it has so many different settings. Uh, you can plug almost any type of microphone into it, including this uh, this XLR Shure microphone, and it gives you great sound. This is a test recording using the Radio Shack 33-3013 lavalier microphone, along with the Sonoma Wireworks uh, guitar jack. Um, I'm using the microphone input and I'm using it in the uh, bridged mode, so it's one channel mono. Um, you can also plug in a stereo microphone um, and use it that way, or you can plug in a mono microphone as well as a guitar and record at the same time. Uh, and this recording was done in the 4-track application.